Welcome to the StockMentor.com studios. I'm your stock mentor, Brian Johnson. Quick note of business, Francisco, you have sent me an email about the mentoring, and you and I have been back and forth, but I, I think we're having problems with uh, you receiving my emails and, and whatnot. I just want to let you know, I did send you another email about the classes, so if you did not get it, please let me know, and uh, we will find another way to hook up via Skype or phone or something. Okay, on to the markets. Guys, another consolidation day. Um, kind of played out the way I talked about yesterday in the respect of I said uh, above 10400 or below 10300 for your entries. I said be very cautious though because there was support at 10250 and resistance at 10450. So it probably wasn't the best swing trading entry. Uh, however, if you wanted to play it for a few points, during a day trade, it was the way to go. Uh, that's what we saw. We broke 10,300, ran right back down to about the 10,250 area before turning around, and that was about as far as we went for the day. Over the last couple of days, we've seen nothing but uh, break even on the markets, and um, here's the chart. This still looks like some sort of a four wave consolidation. My bias, guys, as long as we stay up here, is still kind of to the upside in the short term. Uh, maybe we complete this move tomorrow. Maybe this five wave completes tomorrow. Could be early on Monday. I would expect that we would see some sort of a pullback uh, maybe next week sometime, Tuesday, Wednesday time frame maybe. Start to see this thing roll over and come back. Uh, I'm not, I'm, I don't know if it's going to break the new lows uh, or anything like that, but I think that uh, a pullback is certainly in the works here. Anyway, we'll wait and see how this all plays out. Still looking for breaks above now 10 400 and 10 250 to, to for me now, but once again, there's just not a lot to play. Below 10 250, you've got support at 10 200 and above 10 400, you still have resistance at 10 450. So if you want to play the, you know, play for a couple of points and you're a Dow guy, well, there you have it. Or Dow Dow gal, I guess I, I shouldn't just restrict myself to that. Uh, you can do that, but you're not gonna. I don't think there's a lot of, of room to play in here. So coming into tomorrow, short-term bullish. Uh, really just waiting for breaks above this area. That's what the pattern looks like to me. It looks, you know, from a technical analysis standpoint. Now maybe this is some sort of an A, then this is a B, and now we have a C to the downside, and that's your four wave, and then we have a five up. Ultimately, I think the direction is up. I think we re we will test ten four fifty, ten five hundred, maybe even higher um, before. Uh, this whole move is done and uh, done and over with. Let's take a look at the dailies. You can kind of see some of this stuff clearer on the daily. Putting in another topping candle, but look what we did. We came right back down and touched that 50-day moving average. That's why 10 to 50 was one of my uh, support areas. Worked out perfectly. Held nicely. And then, of course, closed below the 200. Now, as long as this thing stays below the 200, guys, and just below the 200, that is overall bullish 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 so you have to respect this as uh, right now it's just a pullback and or high base however you want to look at that by the way I got an email on somebody asking about the high base I will be with you this afternoon uh, I can't remember who that was that sent that to me oh uh, Anthony so Anthony I will be getting back to you this afternoon all right back to the video I am a little ADD at times so you guys will have to forgive me for that uh, so we have we've had this big run up here and now you know, we're not going anywhere as long as it stays up here, that is bullish. Yes, bullish, bullish. So we'll be watching that very closely as we come into the end of the week. Um, is there any news coming out tomorrow? If there is, that might be what moves the market, or that's the excuse they're going to use to move the market. But otherwise, uh, it's just the, the pattern looks bullish at this point. NASDAQ on a 60-minute, also doing the same thing. Notice how we... Uh, I said uh, 1830 was one of my overhead resistance areas, one of my strong overhead resistance areas, and we hit it, pulled back, we broke it on what? On kind of a gap, actually. We gapped up above it, and then we, and then we uh, filled and then ran. Now we come back to retest it again, and it's holding nicely. The NASDAQ is certainly in, in a bullish type of a, uh, of a move right now. No question about it. It's uh, retested it. It's held 1830. Good place to... I take a little bit of a long position there, but you can see it starting to run back up. Next stop is probably this area here. What is that, 1870? I don't know exactly, but you know what? I can hit the inspect button now and tell you. Right about 1870 to 1875. How about that? How about that? Yeah, that looks that works pretty cool. All right. 
So there you have it, about 1873, 1875 on the NASDAQ uh, for breaks uh, or for uh, anything beyond that. And then 1880 is also, also, also definitely an overhead resistance area. So you're going to want to be careful up in that area, somewhere between 1875 to 1880. Okay, watch for breaks above that before you start looking at trades in the NASDAQ. Still think it's very plausible that we can do that. Based on the daily, look at the daily. We broke, this week alone has been good for the NASDAQ. Broke the 20, broke the 200, broke the 50, all back to the upside. That is, got to hand it to the bulls. It is, it is pretty bullish. Down today, got back below the 50, got back below the 200, but the bull said, uh-uh, pulled it all the way back up. So is that a potential topping candle? Yes, you betcha it is. But as long as it stays above that 50, that is still a bullish move. Maybe we see some consolidation to the sideways motion. And in that case, you're going to want to see if it holds the 50. If it holds the 50-day moving average, man, that continues to be bullish, bullish, bullish. So watch that closely coming into the last day. Um, this is ultimately where the bulls want to get to. This is ultimately where the bears want to get back below. I don't think either one will happen tomorrow. <laughs> Need some real news probably to move some stuff. Uh, 1900, uh, definitely going to be overhead resistance for the NASDAQ. And then your support sits back here at 1810 from a weekly standpoint. We are, you know, obviously into Thursday uh, now. And with Friday left, I think those candles are going to end up pretty close to where they are right now. Um, we'll reevaluate at the end of tomorrow. SPX on a 60 minute. Pulled back, held this area here. So we got the break, consolidation, pulled back. This is what we saw today. Back into the 8 to 1080. Remember I said somewhere below, what, 1080, 1085, something like that. We never got there. Uh, and then back up again today. Got to be pretty nimble, got to be pretty quick to make these type of day trades and make any money on it. Overall, we're just flat. I, I'm still waiting for a more major break of some areas before I start throwing money back at the market here. Uh, ultimately, though, guys, this is bullish. This is just a high base formation consolidation. Still looking for breaks over what? 1,100. That's right. Thanks for watching. Uh, moving down, moving back up, giving us the topping candle again, but that 1095 to 1100 area is very strong resistance, continues to be strong resistance, but notice what it is doing. It is holding above the 50-day moving average, not once, but now twice. I'm going to give yesterday to the bulls, and today, obviously, I'm going to give to the bulls, and as long as this pattern stays this direction, the bulls are definitely in control here. Bears are not coming back with a vengeance at this time. Still looking for breaks really kind of back below that 1080-ish area. More conservatively, below 1070 is where you want to get short if you're more conservative in that manner. Any breaks back up and over 1100, I still like 1110. From a weekly standpoint, you can see us sitting at on the 50-week moving average. This is the number to be watching tomorrow for the S&P, and that is 1095.93, so basically 1096. This is the area that the bulls are going to want to break, and this is the area the bears are going to want to hold by the end of tomorrow. Anybody's guess what happens there. VIX on a daily, once again, just weird. Okay, last 